so I got sick. And on top of the misery of being sick for a few days, I was also sad because I was supposed to go on a trip to New Orleans which I had to cancel last minute. Maybe you can still hear it from my voice, but I still haven't got my full voice back because, yeah. I was resting for most of the time, but on the fourth day of my isolation, I started getting antsy. I think being alone in a new city while being sick made me a bit more melancholic about the things in my life. I wanted to make something creative, and to inspire myself, I looked at some of the photo books that I have acquired over time. Recently, my friend Ryan made a photo book that contains a hundred of his most significant photos and I think it's an impressive collection with every page filled with delicate and expressive photos. I've been doing photography for a long time now and I have a well curated collection of good photos, most of which I've never shown to anyone actually. I've printed a few for myself or as postcards for friends, but I still haven't made any zines or photo books. I guess the timing just never felt right. But while looking at my friend's photo book, I had an itch to revisit some of my old photos. In particular, I have a set of slide films that I took during some of my travels. I also have this old carousel projector from Kodak which I've been using to project my slide films on my wall. It's a hassle to use and I think the bulb for these are hard to find nowadays, but I think it's part of the experience of using slide films. And this is why I always get my slide films mounted even if it costs a bit more.
The photos I'll be showing in this video is from a trip I made to Dover, which is a port city in the southeastern coast of England back in 2019. I used other film stocks as well, but for this video, I'll just show the slides I took with a roll of Fujifilm Provia 100F. And yeah, Dover Castle was quite charming. And it just so happened that there was a festival happening there while I was visiting, which was fun. There were actors dressed in period costumes from World War I and World War II, and that's because Dover Castle was a military base during those periods. And on top of it all, castles are just great to photograph. But I think the highlight of my trip to Dover was my hike to see the White Cliffs. Which I think I was able to capture well on Provia. The deep blues that this film renders are just as stunning as I remember. And I think that's one of the reasons why I love photography. Every time I look back at these photos, I am always taken back to the time when I took them. You see, it's not about taking the best banger photo to gain followers on Instagram or YouTube. It's about capturing the vistas I saw and the fleeting feeling that I had on something tangible. In my friend Ryan's words, I sleep thinking the morning will be bleak and gray, yet when I wake, the day is still chromatic. But yeah, if you don't know what slide film is, it's a type of color reversal film that results in a positive, meaning the colors appear accurately on the transparent celluloid. And seeing it lit is, well, <laughs> lit. They are kind of rare now and a bit more finicky than color negative films, but if you ever get a chance of shooting them, then by all means, please do so. Also, if you're interested, I scan these using my Fujifilm X-T4 and the 7 Artisan 60mm Mark II lens. Let me know if you want to see more of how I approach slide films. But yeah, I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you all again in the next one. Cheers.